Hey, it's folks. It's Father Van Gaming here, and welcome back to another episode of the European Universalis Four Muscovy campaign. So, last episode must uh, wasn't much happened. Um, bit of administration nearly, the removal of a few coin in the uh, Livonian Order, where we set out our plan to actually invade the Livonian Order's last province, release them as a vassal, annex them in ten years. We're going to do the same with Kazan very shortly, but first we need to um, knock off about one, two, three, four units to go set on our new colony over here. There's only 400. It's 5,000 in that one. So, I'm going to have to show army and I'm gonna detach all the mercenaries and these 12,000 troops are actually gonna disappear somewhere so at the minute yep we're starting to make a bit of money quite a bit of money now that they're they're all gone this is all wasteland up here so, is any of them out of a union yet? So, what is the chances? We need to go to Denmark. So, Denmark is actually integrating Norway. And the chance of inheriting is minus four because it's just the size of the country. Sweden. Sweden isn't being integrated yet. But once they integrate one, they will lose a lot of, um, oh dear me, another rebellion. Um, so once they integrate um, Norway, Sweden will um, dislike them. And so uh, hopefully they don't actually integrate Sweden and we can start taking weak chunks off Sweden. So they have attacked, or there's been a rebellion in Panza. We're gonna win it. Yep. And they're going into Tarzan, so um the Golden Horde will finish them off for up. What's the revolt risk like in these Native Rising, and we won that. So we've came across Siberia here, um, Timurid, Shadigai, and Golden Horde. Golden Horde. So that would be a way to um, to take out the Mamluks out of this war with the Golden Horde. Be to our way to attack Siberia. They would only call in the Golden Horde, Timur, Shadagay. Shadagay is quite big over here. Um, once we finish recording here, I'll actually go out and show you um, the size of Shadagay in the the uh, context to Muscovy. No, they're not as big as us, I think, but you know they're 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 quite a force to be reckoned with. Them paired with the Timurids. The Timurid is like um, a golden horde nearly, it's like the uh, Mongols, but they're it's like a can of the whole, they're like, like horse, horsemen aren't they? I, th I, th I think they're horsemen and they're um, quite, a, quite a dangerous faction to mess about with. So what's our country modifiers? Western arms. Okay. Our yearly prestige is quite a bit um So established penal colony in Tura, that is where we are at the minute, isn't it? 
Yep, so our colony in Terra has not been progressing as quickly as we would like. One of your advisors has however come up with a plan to speed up growth. He is proposing that we send thieves, debtors and other criminals to Terra and have them pay their debts to society by working to develop the colony and eventually become settlers once their sentence is done. While this plan might seem good on paper, there is a chance a rebellion may occur due to having all these dangerous individuals in a single location. Yep, it sounds good. Or lose 10 admin power. Well, we have the troops there anyway, so we may as well make them work. Okay, so we could attack the natives for 3 military power. And does that just kill them off? Might, might do, I don't know. I have to look into that. So our country's in a bit of a mess at the minute with them. Um, so many uh, revolt risk. Catholic. Zealots, um, Navarre, Reval, so Navarre, Reval, and Dorpat there. Seventeen point three percent chance of them rising. Um, Perm. Over that side, there's a uh, thirteen percent of them rising. Wenden over here, there's a. Uh, 12% of them rising. Vega right beside it, there's a uh, 12% of them rising. Um, all over beside that, there's another. So, uh, there's, there's quite a bit. So, okay, thank you. If we go to. Pause that there. I just seen something that I. I like. So we could just release Curland. There we go. There's one promise I will not have to. So I don't actually have to um, core that there. Can I just give them rig? could sell them a province of Riga for nothing. No. Okay. So they're not happy with that. Yaroslavel. No way we give you areas when we've already chances of you becoming a vassal. So we can't even um only way of reducing these is actually core them or attack Kazan or even put my uh stability up. Need a hundred and seventy seven points religion. So how do we put our religion there? If we go, we need to get our missionary strength up to try and combat that. Um, nothing much else I can do. We have our our cog here. So, what are you looking? Military access, who you at war with? Poland, Lithuania. What are they attacking over? No. You're not helping them. That was wrong.
I do need to let them. Because they'll, they'll wear themselves out and not get anywhere. You yeah. uh, give them access. So um not much happening at the minute. Just group the sh ships here. Um what's it like here? There has an eighteen percent chance. Poland No. Let you come in and attack them, but no, not the other way about. Okay, so then I neglect it seems that the government that governs seems that the government that governs the least governs the best as far as Belarzu is con concerned. Our non involvement in Belarzu has proved beneficial and the local economy is booming. Where's Berzu? Where is this? Oh, there we go. There. We'll say, okay, so they can do things in their own. If it moves, tax it. So we don't want the trade power. We want the local tax modifier. So we are up to state needs the money. I'd rather not. Um in a few settlers as well so our man park can start to recuperate there so no what is being attacked okay so we need to come back over here take the leader out of this put him in there no we do want that I'm gonna send them in Nothing more I can help them with there. Send them in. Massive morale advantage. Tactic advantage. <laughs> it's going to be our battle today. We lost about 1,000 men. Our extensions high. There's rebellions possible. So we can we want to deselect that and select that one as one of the primary ones. Yep. What other ones do we want? We never use the religious one, but we do use the opinion one. So there we go, we got there. Uh, just a bit of management here. Um so our revolt risk is quite high in these southern provinces here as well as in the far west. So we've got quite a bit of a treasury go on at the minute. Um what does the next idea give us? One merchant. Yeah, that's going to be good. So, um, we're annexing Yaroslavl here. So, how long is it going to take? 91. Oh, 
Oh, there's what we need there. We can pause the game. Instead of having the um, yearly inflation reduction, we can just click that button and reduce it. Instead, we can get the missionary strength and start to convert some of these provinces. There we go. The time taken, Navarre, away you go. We're gonna take. Five units. Send them to Navarre. We're gonna actually take his both and send his out here. <coughs> so we're gonna unpause that there now. Um, start to convert a few, a bit of the population here. So we have. One merchant. Why is that not merchant not? And we have a merchant here. Should we put a merchant in here? Like we're we're pulling everything we can. Yeah, we're pulling everything around this way. But we're pulling it to Lubeck. So we would need to be within here. Or here. If we go to here. Outgoing. So that's all going to Novgorod. If we start pulling from Kiev up, to, yeah, we'll do that. So we're gonna transfer the trade power with him. I'm gonna try and pull it this way to Kiev. We're gonna try and stop it being taken out. We do have um, a monopoly, but we are gaining. 6.7 gold from there every month so that's alright that's not too bad I'm gonna keep going here um, group these troops Navarre active missionary plus 6 revolt risk a new king so So take living on, there we go. And we're gonna split in half, take nine thousand troops up to Riga just in case they attack. It's a good idea, go to Curland. So we've actually found gold in Terra, which is very good as gold is quite um quite expensive. It's not easy to find then. So what about the king? Is he uh, he's not bad, he's got quite a bit of manoeuvre compared to the shark and fire phases. Not what we wanted, but then again, he's he's not bad. So, um, what do they have in the bank? So, Wartenberg joined. Um, I have about sixty-one, seventy, eighty thousand troops there, <laughs> compared to our hundred and eleven. A lot more, just say that. So, do they have cannons? 
Yes, Denmark has got cannons. And they do not want to share with me their cannons. They get it at military level 7. So we've been getting cannons in a couple of months. So we're going to take these troops here and send them around. What's their navy like? Five barks. I don't know whether that's... It must just be um, Hungary's, but they don't have any way to this port, do they? They do, yes. So we'll um, blockade Dorpat here first. So, this army here will set our general to be to be super quick. That's why we're not going anywhere. I'm paused. Hopefully, this war doesn't last too long. Um so Hungary didn't actually join with them, which isn't fair. I sounded just really, really childless there. It's not fair. Not fair, I didn't join with them. Okay. So So defender of the faith means that I have to So now is a time that I will actually use the religious one. We are the only Orthodox country except for Serbia. If someone goes to war with Serbia I have to join in. Is there a chance of you going to war with Serbia? No, but you've just went to war with Poland. No, you haven't. What are you like? Um, is there anyone that can declare war on you, Serbia? Um, not there. Not there. No. So it doesn't seem to be too many that can declare war against you. Venice can, that's who can. I think I've seen that. Yep. So Defender of the Faith would mean that I have to take them kind of calls to war. A lot of money involved. Um, not yet, not until we have a bigger army. And so, am I right in saying that i just seen a... So, why did Austria take the call to war? Not part of the HRE. So, we're going to have to call up the troops from the reserve and put in the good general. And get ready to fight Austria. Here they come, 18,000 troops. They're coming to Vilna. So Lithuania, what about um, military access? 
Nope, you're not willing to give it to me. So once we take this, then march the troops out over to here. There we go. Move them on over. So when are you going to be in there? The 25th. We have 18 there, 23 here. These are coming over as well. So we group these men here. Just ensure that we didn't get our way through this way. Do you have military access? No, they don't have military access. What about Austria? Through Serbia, Lithuania, Poland, Wardenburg, and Golden Horde. But not Crimea, which isn't too bad. I'm gonna take that merchant. Um, just used all the diplomatic part. Oh, so there has been an engagement here. They've taken the crossing penalty. Get in there as soon as possible. Boost up the morale. Hopefully, maybe our commander will take over. No, they're a far better commander. Austria have more morale. I'm gonna send the whole army after Austria here. And such a time to revolt against me so that's a place to end the, the episode after that major battle with Austria we're now up to 8% uh, need at least 10% war score diplomacy with Austria try and buy Austria out Once other concessions except gold. Well, as soon as you find out what you want, let me know. Austria, super pace, no. So, don't know what I'm gonna do here. Try and buy Austria out. So thanks for joining me um, for this episode. Do go and check out the other episodes in the, on my channel. There's, I don't know how many now. There's quite a few channel or quite a few episodes there. Check them out and give them a watch. Give me feedback. Uh, what you want to see? What you like? And do watch out on the 18th of February in new Let's Play. So watch out for it. So thanks for watching, folks. Um, like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.